this is the second night I've had vivid, vivid dreams, and I believe it's because I got these needle cactus pricks in my fingers in various points. I think it's kind of an acupuncture effect, because when I move my, when I, when I feel it every so often where they're embedded. Okay, acupuncture doesn't normally target the hands, the fingers. Uh, but if you manage to poke yourself in your fingers with needles, yeah, you're going to affect your your uh, thought process. I don't believe it's made me any smarter, but it's definitely affected my dreaming at least. So there's that. Um, and the vivid dreams are just, you know, I, I can't even recall what last night was. Uh, but tonight, as I've been questioning, oh, I've been questioning my, my brain. Alright, I think that, I mean, I'm not, I'm not, uh, like, in the, the normal thought process of everybody else. I always struggle with puzzles and, and math and stuff. So, I can't, you know, as much as I, I, tr I struggle through it, like in 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 school, uh, as much as I tried as hard as I pushed myself to get through math pro to figure out math problems, I couldn't. I, I was always I was always uh, confused by it. And and uh, there is people who have smaller heads than me, that that like demonstrates effortless. Uh, analytical skills so it's not the size of your brain it's it's also whether it's damaged or not and and uh, my mom my mom admitted to dropping me at least once which dislocated my hip so and I recall in, in grade school being it dropping on my head and, and on concrete too this is before they decided to put well, maybe not. They just didn't have wood chips um, at the at the these monkey bar things, um, and I tried to hang upside down and I, f I failed and fell on my head. It wasn't a f it wasn't a far fall, but apparently when I came to, there were kids standing over me, wondering why I was laying down motionless. So that's that's gonna cause some problems because that occurred in <clears throat> maybe six or uh, <clears throat> first grade or so. I've taken early 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 head damage as mild as it was. Also, possibly I don't know. Everybody gets con uh, gets gets exposed to to various challenges. All right, so I, I think I was exposed to lead too, possibly, or something nasty in in the drinking water when I went when uh, uh, my early family lived on a farm. There's this little little uh, things just kind of chipping away at at uh, my full functioning brain to make it slightly less functioning. Um, and I was mostly, last night, I was mostly dreaming about, uh, an indentation possibly in my head. My dreams are strange, and they're, very, they've been very strange these past two nights. I've slept in the same area the past two nights, but I don't believe it's that. I believe that these, these cactus pinpricks are making me dream Oddly, I bet if I went somewhere else, I'd still have vivid dreams because I got yeah, I feel a cactus pinprick there, and they're just in my. Th they're mostly these pinpricks are mostly in my fingers where where that's where I touched the the pear the the cactus fruit. Yeah, right there. I just can't get rid of it. I could sl I could feel it sliding back and forth, but I can't get rid of it. It's stuck there. And that's affecting nerves. That's, I mean, I'm really, it's striking a nerve, especially with me touching it.
So it's possible when I shuffle my hands around that um, I'm reactivating these needles in my fingers and <laughs> while sleeping and and it's affecting my dreams all right it's in your fingers but it makes it makes sense to me uh, through the thought process of acupuncture I don't know how long these little pricks are gonna be in my fingers uh, the sooner I can get rid of them the better but uh, yeah, I don't know how else to explain these weird dreams I've been getting. That's the only way to make sense of it.